wireless internet card functionality, it's actually a lot like a modem, uh, at least in terms of the basic concept. Whereas with a modem, you've got one modem, you know, you've got one modem on each end translating audio tones into binary, you know, ones and zeros, and sending them back and forth. With wireless cards, you've got an access point or wireless router that's broadcasting a signal through radio waves at a certain frequency. Uh, the common frequencies are 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. Uh, once you know that broadcasts out, and then the wireless internet card will receive those radio signals at that frequency, translate them back into the ones and zeros, which then your computer can interpret as you know whatever content that you're trying to access. The um, standards for wireless inter internet cards are uh, 802.11b. 802.11g and 802.11 draft n. Basically the difference between the two is the amount of speed and to a certain extent the effective range of the access points. Wireless B's inter 802.11b's internet connection speed maxes out at 11 megabits per second whereas wireless G maxes at 54 megabits per second. Draft n goes up to 140 megabits per second which is actually faster than a lot of wired uh, old wired Ethernet equipment. There are two more notes I want to go ahead and throw in here. The first one is that the reason it's called Draft N is because the, Internet, the Institute for Electrical and Electronics Engineers has not made it official yet. They're still working out a couple little things that they want to tweak here and there. Um, this means that while most draft, I mean there have been Draft N products on the market for quite a while now. And most should work with each other without any problems. But there's still, there's a small chance that certain cards may not work with certain routers. So you do need to keep that in mind when you're buying Draft N. 